Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meet again, and in this Cinema 4D quick tip, I actually want to address something that was uh, raised by one of my viewers. Um, I did a tutorial a little while ago, which was this one, and it was about how you could select multiple objects, but choose one of the object's pivots to be the rotational point of all select selected objects. And one of my viewers actually asked, can I do this with a point selection? Can I select a load of points and then use one of those points as the pivot point for all of those points. And you can, and that's what this quick tip is about. Okay, so I've got a simple scene here set up, and uh, the only thing you need to worry about is this sphere object here. So I'm gonna select the sphere and go into point mode, and I've got my select tool selected there, and um, I've got a nice big brush size, so I'm just gonna select a load of random points uh, that's probably a little bit too big a selection actually let's make it a little bit more like this and we'll choose some down here as well and you'll see that the pivot pops to here uh, Cinema 4D is looking at the location of all of these points and then um, extrapolating a mean average basically and with that you can you know rotate these points around that average but what if you do want to choose one of these? Well, it's pretty simple. You can either use the move tool or the rotational tool to do this. So let's flip over to move and then you click on this, which is basically the uh, enable access modification button. And now with this selected, you'll see that when we hover over a polygon or an edge or a point, we can actually make a selection. So if I wanted to rotate this entire selection of points around this point, I could just click that point and it will go there. Same with this edge or this polygon, it will just flip to there. So let's select this point, uncheck our axis modification. And now when I go into the rotate tool, I can rotate all of these points around that point. Uh, even the move axis will be there as well. So I can move them all from there. Again, I can select uh, the modification, the axis modification, and choose a polygon as well. And you'll notice that it also conforms to the normal of that polygon. So if I uh, flip back now, I can, oh, pardon me, I've got to turn the axis modification off. I can rotate around that. This also works for edges and polygons as well. So if we actually go back here and uh, make a edge selection instead I can select a bunch of edges and then go to this tool and make sure I'm in the move tool and I can select this point here turn this off and now I can rotate an edge selection around this uh, new pivot point as well the same thing works with polygons as well so if I choose some polygons here and let's choose some random ones down here and then go back to this tool and the move tool I can also select points here something else to note the the selected point doesn't have to be inside your selection either so I can actually choose this one here and rotate these points uh, these polys even around a point that's not even part of the selection it could be any point on the object Okay, so that was nice and quick, and I'll see you for the next one. If you're watching on YouTube, please like and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell to be notified of new tutorials. You can follow me on social media at Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn and Instagram. And make sure to visit me at digitalmeet.uk where you can vote for upcoming tutorials. Thanks for watching. Bye.